As Prince Harry gears up for his upcoming joint trip to the Big Apple, the Royals' upcoming speaking gig at the Clinton Global Initiative annual meeting has the internet buzzing, and not in a good way. The event, taking place from September 23rd to the 24th, will see Harry rubbing shoulders with the likes of actor Matt Damon and celebrity chef Jose Andres. While the Clinton Foundation struggles to recapture its former glory, some are questioning why Harry, who's often perceived as more of a media magnet than a meaningful contributor, is being spotlighted in such a significant setting. The CGI, a nonpartisan organization established by former President Bill Clinton, promises a focus on what's working to tackle global issues such as climate resilience, global health equity, and humanitarian crises. The foundation's dwindling profile in recent years raises the question, did Matt Damon blow through their budget, forcing them to settle for Prince Harry? The optics are hardly flattering. Harry's presence at the summit is, in many eyes, nothing more than a glorified PR stunt. Harry hasn't exactly been known for his problem-solving prowess, with a track record of, at best, minor philanthropic gestures, and at worst, relentless self-promotion. Harry seems to be all sizzle and no steak. His ability to solve problems is as credible as his claims of being a global leader, he's merely basking in the afterglow of his royal title, his deceased mother's legacy, and a penchant for whining about his lot in life. Matt Damon, a co-founder of Water.org and Water Equity, and Chef Jose Andres, who's made headlines with his World Central Kitchen, are seasoned campaigners in the realm of social change. Their inclusion in the CGI lineup suggests a serious approach to tackling global issues. Enter Prince Harry, whose main contribution seems to be flying in on a private jet, an irony not lost on those who see his environmental posturing as farcical. The Clinton Foundation's recent history of quietude only adds fuel to the fire. Harry's inclusion in the event is seen by many as a desperate bid for attention. The Foundation is well aware that Harry's controversial status will bring clicks and headlines, even if it doesn't translate into meaningful engagement or donations. The real question lingering in the air is whether Harry's participation is a calculated move to remind everyone that the Foundation is still alive and kicking, or just a play to get some publicity by association. Harry's attempt to rival Williams Earthshot Prize, a well-regarded initiative making tangible impacts in environmental fields, is laughable in comparison. Earthshot has made significant strides in a few short years, while Harry's achievements amount to a series of complaints and media-friendly sound bites. It's like watching a high school student try to compete with a Nobel laureate, and exercising futility that's more embarrassing than impressive. And then there's the elephant in the room. Bill Clinton's own dubious associations. Harry's fans have been quick to criticize Prince Andrew's scandals, yet here he is aligning himself with Clinton, a figure not exactly renowned for squeaky clean ties. The irony is palpable, and it seems that Harry's selective outrage and high profile associations are a bit too convenient. To add another layer of absurdity, Harry's name doesn't even appear on the official CGI list of participants for 2024. Was this a last-minute addition, or another instance of his tendency to show up where he is not truly wanted or needed? Meghan, never one to miss an opportunity for self-promotion, is also expected to make a splash, though her fashion choices might overshadow any substantive contributions.